no train. Say no train today. Eh? Say no train today. Yeah, yeah. we got a train for the fight, right? Daddy's gonna be beast mode on this guy. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it's, it's pretty rough sometimes. It's, it's good because I own this place and things are working out now so I can make, okay, I can train a couple hours in the morning, spend the rest of the day with the little guy, go for a run, get some cardio in, come back and train all night. So by that time he's in bed, I might either bring him to, to his mom's if I'm in a tight spot. He's got grandma around, so it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm uh, thankful to be running my own business now and fighting and being happy. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, dad's got a fight coming up. In a fun road. I get to fight, train, and be a dad. So I'm happy. I love my job, and I love this little man. We have to win the next fight for him. So let's talk about uh, your fight with um, Shane Campbell. You okay. lost that fight, but as far as I'm concerned, it was a good loss. Yes, um, I agree. You know, it came to the decision. I mean, Shane is a tough dude. Not yeah. a lot of guys want to fight him. Like, it was good. Um, I was actually... Uh, I found out about the fight when Garner Ace um, called me and asked me if I wanted to fight Shane, and I said sure. So um, it worked out. You know, I knew Shane was a tough dude. I actually came up in MMA, and uh, the first couple of years, I wanted to get into it. And I was watching Shane. He was he was beating guys, and uh, he was putting on a good show. He was actually the top at uh, you know his weight class for world, for Muay Thai anyway. So then I started getting into MMA, and I seen how he was you know real good Muay Thai matchup. So fighting someone like Shane. You know, I, I got nothing to lose. Like I, you know, I put on a good show, and uh, you know, even he, Shane gave me respect. Said I put more hands on him than any other fighter has, ever has. Shane's a good kid. I like Shane, and uh, I'd like to even fight him again if we got a chance. So, so are good. you under contract right now with Bellator? Uh, no. Nope. Fight, fight, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, just one fight contract. They uh, they gave me the slight team fight, which was actually short notice. It was a ten day ten days. Yeah, I took that Will fight. Romero was supposed to fight. Yeah, you that's right. For injury, right? Yeah, Willie. Uh, Willie really pulled out, and um, I don't know who was running it, but uh, they uh, mentioned my name, and I said, of course. So uh, it was a good matchup for me, especially with, after coming off of three losses and getting a chance oh, yeah. to jump into Bellator, which just like came out of nowhere. And I obviously jumped on that, and now uh, that put me up the rankings and worked my way up from there. Do you think the refs called that too soon? Uh, maybe they did. You know, I knew that like I had him rocked, so I was just going to keep hitting him anyway, and he wouldn't have got out either way. But uh, the ref stepped in. I think the ref made a good call. So how's, how's this uh, training camp been? It's good. I have uh, I go roll with uh, Gracie Baja guys in, in Fight Club Canada, Niagara Falls. My black belt coach, Vince Matei. I've uh, been boxing. This training's been going good. I've been staying healthy. I'm injury free. Weight's going good. I'm getting <laughs> to be a machine. So uh, Jason Fisher's gonna, he's gonna realize what it's like to fight me uh, April 6th. I know that. I think MMA has evolved a lot over the last 10 years, obviously, since the first UFC there was a Gracie who just submitted everybody, and, uh, but nowadays you got to have it all, it's guys like George Rush, St. Pierre, it just blows through guys and there's no one around, like, even in his weight class. It almost looks boring after a while because he does the same thing, but he's smart, he's strategic, and he wins fights, and that's what pays the bills, so, you know, he learned from his mistake when he lost from Sarah, but, uh, it shows now, you know, St. Pierre is one of the best. There's nobody that's that's a, that's an easy fight nowadays, so Bellator puts on good shows. Jason Fisher is obviously he's tough. He's actually got more experience than me. He's 13 years into it. I'm only seven years into it, but uh, you know, it's gonna come down to who's better that day, basically. You can't make a mistake in the sport because everyone's so good they can capitalize just like that. 